Man, every conservative accusation really is just a confession, ain't it? I believe everybody at this point has heard of J.K. Rowling. She's She was a beloved children's author, and then she downloaded Twitter. And now she doesn't talk about, or now she's like really focused on, well, talking about trans people for some reason. Anyways, let's get into a bit of a thread that caught my eye and made me laugh. Also, um, I'll, I'll just throw this out there, trigger warning, there will be mentions of sexual assault. So, I'll give a little context before I actually jump into the thread. This thread was Joanne being mad at a quote from David Tennant. And if you don't know who David Tennant is, well, he's the doctor. You might ask who, and I will say yes. Anyways, David Tennant's quote is in this little image here, or it's a bunch of little whinging fuckers who are on the wrong side of history and they'll all go away soon. And J.K. Rowling's response to this was, this man is talking about survivors who want female only care, the nurses currently suing their health trust for making them change in front of a man girls and women losing sporting opportunities to males and female prisoners incarcerated with convicted sex offenders. This Caroline Finch responded, Siri, show me an example of false equivalence. I do not really have the time or energy to go through and debunk all of JK Rowling, what she's going on about. I believe we're all on the same page of Trans people just want to pee in the bathroom. We just want to be included, play with everybody else. Anyways, Rowling responds to this 300 follower account. Who are the little whinging fuckers and whom he refers? To which another account pops up, writer from the north. People like you who are trying to make the life of his child who is trans, a living hell. He's not going after women, he's going after bigots like you and your ilk. But you're happy to twist uh, twist his words to suit your narrative. J.K. Rowling responds to that with, how am I trying to make his child's life a quote, living hell? Please give specific examples. And then Kaiser fucking Neko from Team Four Star of Dragon Ball Z abridged fame, internet fame, responds with, Get out of my fucking timeline! Because your entire movement against trans people has propagated vicious lies about the very nature of transgender people, their struggle, and the value of their identities. You've emboldened some of the absolute worst bigots I've ever seen in my 37 years of life. Now, that's a hell of a ratio. It doesn't stop there. JK Rowling responds with the hate so monstrous you can't give a single specific example. Imagine my surprise. And then the tweet that popped up on my timeline and caught my attention. All right, let's start with something recent. Here's you denying that the Nazis burned books on trans healthcare and research in which you can see a picture of JK uh, had posted a tweet with the picture that said the Nazis burnt books on trans healthcare and research, why are you so desperate to uphold their ideology around gender? JK Rowling responded, I just, how? How did you type this out and press send without thinking, I should maybe check my source for this because it might have been a fever dream, which I can't remember the medical facility's name off the top of my head, but it is very well documented that that medical facility was like the leading research facility for trans healthcare and more than that actually. And you know that one, like the famous, the famous book burning picture, like when people mention or you search Google for book burning, like I think it was the first one or like one of the first is the picture of that research being burnt. 
Of course you can't check it because their camera quality is shit back then. You can't zoom in and enhance like you can in CSI. Anyways, Kaiser continues. Good lord, 53,000 likes on that. Kaiser continues. Or how about when you compare the modern trans movement to your fucking Death Eaters? In which we get a quote, I think in an interview with Rowling. Some of you have not understood the books. The Death Eaters claimed, quote, We have been made to live in secret and now is our time and any who stand in our way must be destroyed if you disagree with us you must die they demon an end quote they demonized and human or uh, they demonized and dehumanized those who were not like them i am fighting what i see as a powerful insidious misogynistic movement that has gained huge purchase in very influential areas of society I do not see this particular movement as either benign or powerless, so I'm afraid I stand with the women who are fighting to be heard against the threats of loss of livelihood and threats to their safety. Trans people just want to pee in the bathroom. Holy fuck. It's that kind of... You know what's called the Institute for Sex Research? I figured it was something pretty basic like that, but uh, in German. But yeah, that's literally comparing... The whatever the fuck the Death Eaters were in Harry Potter, I only watched the first movie and just did not give a shit. But I'm pretty sure they're not the greatest characters. Institute for Sexual Visage. I like it. Anyways, Kaiser continues. I could point the several opportunities you've taken to point your huge fucking account at smaller trans accounts, mobbing them with hate brigades because you have absolutely no concern for how you wield your massive platform. I don't know if they're trans, but literally, this thread, she's going after a tiny ass account. As that couldn't be the ratio. Oh, it's so good. I don't know what news sort or reporting site this is from, but July, or picture reads July 2021. Rowling tweets a screenshot of a tiny account reportedly with around 200 followers at the time for a self-identified trans user who mentions her in a tweet discussing gender identity. Since Rowling did not remove the trans user's information in the screenshot that went out to her 14 million followers, that user is subsequently inundated with transphobic harassment and ultimately deletes their Twitter account. And then Kaiser continues. Your bedfellows with people like Posey Parker who's known to have neo-Nazis showing to her rallies to support her because your ideology about trans people align with Nazis, which is why Nazis and their ilk celebrate you as often as they do. Point of pride for me, I don't think Nazis have ever complimented me, so <laughs> let's go there. They're, they're only doing the, the Nazi salute. How do you know they're Nazis? They're doing the Nazi salute and hiding their faces, except for that guy. The rest of them are cowards. They don't want to hide. They don't want to tie their actual beliefs with their face because they are ashamed. Check this thread. Neo-Nazi salute in solidarity, solidarity with Kelly J. Keen at her anti-trans event in Melbourne. How can J.K. Rowling uh, blind Bindel J. and Women's Place UK claim that the, that gender critical is progressive? when their movement is willing to hashtag let neo let nazis speak yeah like you can't be progressive and be hanging out with nazis the nazis were a hundred percent against every little bit of thing of that was progressive i think pretty sure nazis bad anyways kaiser continues <laughs> of course many of your allies are conservative and anti-feminist in many ways including trying to limit abortion but what does it matter, right? As long as they're anti-trans, you're willing, uh, you'll take your support. You'll give, take your, you'll give and give them support and take it. Big love to you. I wish it was included who she was responding to. Oh, thank you. May, March 12, 2022, tweeted big love to you XXX to Caroline Farrow an anti-trans, anti-gay, and anti-abortion activist after Pharaoh complained of, 
quote, having had my life invaded and dominated by insane trans rights activists, end quote. According to Pink News, oh, that's where he's getting his sources. Farrell blamed uh, queer people when she was barred from traveling to the U.S. She was served in a, or was served an injunction over abusive tweets she sent to trans women, described a same-sex penguin pair at the zoo as deviant. Yeah, because same sex is unnatural and the penguins are learning it from them gay tourists. <laughs> Fuck, these people are dumb. Railed against and Tango Makes Three about a pair of male penguins raising a chick together and insisted that Disney is losing money because of its inclusion of queer characters, claiming that many families, quote, no longer feel safe, end quote, because of queer cartoons among other L uh, queer comments. I don't feel safe because two girls kiss in a cartoon? Why are they so mad about it? And then Kaiser continues, maybe you shouldn't invoke, uh, invoke the fuck. <laughs> you fucking invoke. I gotta start using that more, that's great. Maybe you shouldn't invoke the fucking Taliban when talking about people who are looking for safety, support, and recognition under the law for their children. And maybe grow some thicker skin when people call you out as a bigot because you say bigoted shit. J.K. Rowling says David Tennant is part of gender Taliban after trans rights support. Man, I don't know where they get this shit. Like, you can disagree with us you cannot like trans people i'm not going to kill you over it i'm going to think less of you i'm not going to give a shit what you have to say if you're not willing to accept what the biggest fucking medical institutions on this planet all say man don't trust the experts just trust your fucking facebook post what does Facebook use? I don't know. Trust your Twitter timeline. That's right. I know, Tibbs. Like, Kaiser Neko is so great. I, he's so good. I love him. I really hope he and his husband are doing well. Uh, he continues again. You deny that gender-affirming care is a boon for trans people and that recognition of their identity can, signi uh, can significantly bring down their chances of self-harm due to depression caused by their dysphoria and society's rampant transphobia, which you stoke. God, like, they don't even get that one right where they're going off about 41%, 41%. The 41% the statistic is suicidal ideation just having thoughts not actually going through with it so they don't even know that much when you live in a world that refuses to acknowledge you like at all you're probably going to think about leaving that world it's i consider that somewhat normal however it can be treated and gets better you know what really drops that statistic down just having one person say, use the correct pronouns. Just one person that actually acts like they care. But a lot of these people that are against trans people, they're against gay people, who are against race mixing, whatever, they don't want the world to get better. They just want the people they hate to suffer. And he continues. Uh, there is no substantial evidence to show that access to women's only spaces for trans women increases risk for non-trans women. But, you're parroted, uh, but you've parroted that for years, making it a cornerstone of your identity because you're obsessed with trans people now. Actually, I don't have a study off my top of my head for it, but I believe, if I recall correctly, that if you put trans women in men's prison they get assaulted way more than any other group and if you put trans women in women's prison the assault rate doesn't change being trans doesn't make you more likely to assault others but it more than likely increases your chances of being assaulted. I mean, there have been more than enough stories of trans people just being outright murdered. I think the most recent one that I saw was like a 14 year old was dismembered 
and like left in a park because they were talking to somebody on a dating app a that kid shouldn't have been on the dating app b that kid didn't deserve that for being on the dating app or for being trans what the fuck simple as you find out somebody's that young on a dating app you report them to the app you don't keep talking with them you don't fucking meet up with them you don't murder god damn i hate people and then Kaiser finishes off with, I could go on, but I think I'll hand it off to my girl, Jesse Gender, who's got a whole three and a half hours talking about why you are absolutely, no questions asked, a transphobic hate monger. I'm sure you'll give it a watch. Thanks for reading, Joanne. And then here's the link to Jesse Gender's explaining JK Rowling's transphobia. I don't think I've actually personally watched it. I don't know terribly too much about Jesse Gender. They seem progressive. They seem cool. And to cap it all off, thank you, Matthew, for including Kaiser's most iconic role, to me at least, with this gift. Oh yeah, there's something else. Unrelated to that thread, but it is related to Joanne. So you know how a whole lot of the anti-trans movement is also saying protect the children like the gender critical people they love to cry protect the children well an interesting tidbit out of a interview with rowling i wish i could go one stream without talking about these kinds of people okay so thanks to bad writing takes for posting this i'm not going to read your tweet first i'm going to read through the interview and well or i'm just going to read the picture from the interview but most surprisingly, the single mother chose Vladimir Nabokov's Lolita, the controversial tale of a pedophile's love for a 12-year-old girl whose life he ruins through abuse as one of her favorite novels. Speaking in a rare interview for a new Radio 4 series about famous people's favorite books, she confides, quote, there are two books whose final lines make me cry without fail, irrespective of how many times I read them, and one is Lolita. There is so much I could say about this book. There just isn't enough time to discuss how a plot could have been the most worthless pornography becomes, in Nabokov's hands, a great and tragic love story. And I could exhaust my reservoir of sup, uh, superlative, superlatives. I know English. Fuck off. Trying to describe the quality of writing. I think that speaks for itself. Man, every conservative accusation really is just a confession, ain't it? Ah, uh, Kaiser's based fucking Rowling. Not in the fun way. Never in the fun way with her. Just want to take a quick second and thank all the people who joined the channel membership as one of my beeps. So, thank you, Joestar, JM, Sashime, and Maxi Kitty. Thanks for watching. Like it if you like it, dislike if you didn't. Let me know in the comments why you think I'm wrong. Check out the community on Discord. And remember, if you can't be the sharpest tool in the shed, you can always be the hoe.